Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here, uh, kind of bear with me, it's kind of late at night here, but I kind of want to talk about two apps that are kind of, kind of, kind of neat here, um, this will only work with Android, let me turn this down, this will only work with Android phones or tablets, um, the reason being is because Apple does not have a Vox setting for Zello when you install Zello. For some reason, they, didn't, they don't have that setting uh, for Apple. So you need an Android, either phone or tablet. You need to turn the Vox setting on in Zello, and you need to turn the Vox setting on in the handheld radio and make sure the sensitivity is up. Now, what this will, app will do, it will play your call sign in Morse code, and there's a timer you can set. In this example, I got it going off every six seconds. You can hear it here on the radio. And you can see it transmitting here with the red light. And this is green for receive. Okay. The Morse code that, I'm, that I did, just an example. It's no particular call sign. I just did it for an example. So the good news is for some of you who want to hook up uh, Zello to a repeater, Obviously, you can program, let me turn all this down before it doesn't, um, you can program this radio to connect to a repeater. In this case, I'm, I'm not doing that, but you can program this radio that's hooked to the tablet to connect to a repeater. And the good news is you can uh, go ahead and um, use just an Android phone with service and get Zello on there and do channel ID over the airwaves only. There is a way to get it to play on the Zello, and I may do a separate video on that. I don't want to try to put too much information in one video. This video is going to be, might be a little long here, and I apologize, but I want to, I'm mainly going to talk about the apps and kind of how, you know, how to get it set up for you. Um, I will post the links down below in the description. Again, it's only for Android, so that's that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Um, but as you can see, it's working. It's every six seconds, it's transmitting this, this fake call sign. You got to, there's two apps that you're going to have to install on your phone or tablet. The one app lets you type in your call sign and save it as a audio file. The other app that you see now is the app that plays it, okay? So, how I have this hooked up, just so that people know, I have the, let me just kind of, let's move this radio all the way. Let's kind of show. I have the cable that, like I use on the computer, this is a special cable. This is not just a splitter. This is actually an adapter that takes from single to headphone and microphone because we got to separate them. I got going through the ground loop isolator block, and then it goes to the radio. Like I said, radio needs to have Vox turned on. You got to make sure your volume's adjusted on here accordingly, and also Vox turned on in the Zello app, and the volume turned up accordingly. You'll have to play with the volume settings, because remember with Vox, it can be a little finicky, but you can play, you know, you can play with that. Um, and kind of get it the way you like it. So that's how I have this hooked up. Like I said, I'll post the links down below, and I'm also going to post a link to Zello's help page on how to set up the Android uh, app uh, in Vox mode. I'll also post that link because I may forget a detail trying to explain all this. So like I said, this, this is kind of more more for the uh, the other apps more than anything else. Like I said, there is a way to have it play the Morse code over Zello, but maybe I'll maybe do a separate video on that. I just want to tell you about these apps so you can start playing with them. And like I said, you can use a, a, a cheap Android phone. You don't need a fancy big computer technically, um, you know. So which is which is really cool. So um, so let's let's go ahead and talk about the apps. I'm going to disconnect all this. Uh, so we're going to turn this off. We're going to turn this off. 
we're going to hit stop on here and we're going to turn everything off here so we can kind of talk about the app here and so let me turn off this phone okay so what we got here I'm going to unhook these cables okay and I apologize it's going to be kind of hard to do this video but I'm going to try my best let's exit let me take this here first let's let's exit everything here let me exit everything okay okay here are the apps like I said I'll post the links down below let's hopefully that will zoom in here CW studio is the app that converts your call sign to an audio wave file and repeat reminder is what plays it when you have it set accordingly for how many minutes like I said in this particular video I was doing six seconds just to show you that this does work um, so what you do after you install the CW studio you open it up and there's going to be some settings here as you can see okay we just want the player we want to select play any text or Morse code we want that one and then up here on top it's going to go right here it's going to, you can leave all these other settings in, in default so now we type it in so let's go ahead and type in a, a a fake call sign just for demonstration here so we're gonna just type in a fake one okay you can hit let's hit the keyboard down we can hit play to hear it I'm not going to do that because I know it's, it's going to be fine now when you're done doing that there is a little arrow here that shows download okay you click on that it's going say save at the very bottom, it will say, file saved. See that? So now we're going to exit this program. Let me go ahead and exit this. Now we're going to open the repeat reminder. Okay, there's a couple things we got to do in here. we got to select intervals. Then we got to hit this uh, gear for the settings. And the first thing we got to do is I unchecked all this. Don't need it. But we got to select our, our, our tone. So we got to hit reminder ringtone. It's going to come up like that. In this case, we got to go all the way down the bottom, add a ringtone. Okay, then it's going to come up to here. Now, I, I did this earlier, so. I'm going to try to go back to this the setting you probably when you tap tap on these three lines okay well there we go and in this tablet's called ONA so I select that and then I come up with folders well it's CW studio we select that and then you pick your your name select that and then now it will be in the list so you select that and you hit OK okay so that's how you do that now the other I'm gonna kinda of hold this like this so you can kinda of see what check marks I selected um, like for an example you don't want it to play a stop sound or count down the seconds the you know voice uh, cue you don't want all that you just want it to play the, the file so that's what you do okay now what you do is you go back to here and then like I said you hit intervals and then you can select 15 minutes or whatever you want hit play and then there you go that's it um, the other thing too you want to do with Zello let me show you something with Zello here kinda hard to do all this 
looking through a camera, so I'm going to do it this way. So in Zello, okay, you want Zello, it will ask you if you want to run the background. And you want to do that. You want it to, and your little notifications when you start Zello, you want it to run in the background. That way you can open up what you do after you hit that, you hit your, your thing here, your square, and then now you can go ahead and exit that, but still running in the background. Now we can go ahead and go to our repeat, and then as you can see, Zello, if I can get this to do this now. So hard doing things on camera when you can't when you look at look through the the Zello still running. So now I can run this, and then if I hit this, or if I want to really get fancy, you can open this up. Let's see if I got this. You can open this up. I'm going to have to do that off camera because I cannot see with the stupid lens there. So I open that up. So now, see how I have it both? See? Because I have Zello running in the background. There will be a notification that will ask you that. And you got to hit yes. That way you can run the Zello. And you can run You can run the, uh, the repeat reminder in the background. And then you got Zello running so uh yeah it's you know you have to kind of play with it um like i said it's it's a pretty cool app uh you know somebody in, in my zello channel uh kind of played with it and kind of got things working and he mentioned it to me and i thought well we better do a video a lot of people might want a channel id that they can run on their android phone or tablet and not have to have a big computer you know per se the only little downside, I guess, if you want to call it that, is um, you got to have it in Vox. you got to have the radio in Vox mode. And Zello's got to be in Vox. You can see it. It's in, you can tell because you can see it lighting up when I'm talking. But Zello's got to be in Vox mode. Um, I will post links on how to get Zello in Vox mode on Android. I'll post that link. I'll post the links to these programs. Um, I will also post a link to the uh, maybe to the cables, even though I already kind of did a video on that. But I may post those links now. I believe, if I remember correctly, the gentleman that wanted his tone to play over Zello, I believe he added a splitter. I think. Uh, to tap off to get it to play in Zello, I believe, if I remember right. But, again, maybe I'll do a separate video on that. I just want to mainly talk about the apps so that people out there who are using the Android can go ahead and get their channel ID to start playing on their Android device. So, and like I said, technically, I don't think you have to play channel ID over Zello. Although it's not a bad idea, but I don't think legally you have to, at least not yet. So, but at any rate, I hope this video is helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe, and thank you, and have a good day.